Welcome back, Dark Souls fans. Demore and Drummond of Dark Souls 3, our main, your host, Chad, if you're and we're in the Dread Keep. Yeah, the DLC. Because I wanted the DLC before doing the final boss. And now we go down through this bit. We drop down and hit Ash and don't get hurt. And drop down again and hit Ash and don't get hurt. And then have to deal with a bunch of... Bunch of annoying enemies crawling out of the ground. Like, if you haven't seen it before, literally out of the ground. I actually have to be careful because some of them are going to try to hook me back into the ground. Yeah. There we go. Don't even try. Don't even try with me. Oh, hey. The Herald Knight. Perfect. So the cool thing about these guys is if you do a, if you do a plunging attack, you get to deal loads of damage. I believe it counts as a critical, too. Not sure, though. I might not be able to do the Altus Ruby thing. Though, to be fair, I should probably switch myself back. And you back to this. At least for now. Am I? Yes, I am. Because I forgot that I normally use the... What do I use normally? Drain Gauntlets. That's right. There we go. All right. And a Titanite Chunk for my troubles. Yeah, that was something the first time I came through here I had a very difficult time with those because I didn't realize you could plunging attack them and get so much out of it. But you can plunging attack them and you get so much out of it. And an Aquamarine Dagger. That was a magic-y thing, right? Let's see, that was, yeah, magic, scales with int. And it makes... Oh, I see, and it makes the occasional blade as an art. That's kind of neat. Actually, no, I can test that. Oh, no, I can't test it, because it requires more strength than I have. No, it doesn't. Ah! I can try this thing. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Oh, I see. If I do that, then I do this. Ah, interesting. Okay. So you get basically a magic straight sword. Or you just have a normal dagger. That's kind of cool. I mean, this build is... I, I really prefer the twin daggers. I like having the magic weapon stuff. Or not the magic weapon, the double weapon stuff. But, that is a neat little tool. So anyway, now that that Herald Legion's been taken care of in record time, we can go back down here, and down here, of course, is the rest of this, which is, like I said, a bunch of annoying enemies pulling, popping out of the ground, trying to pull me down into it. Like you! Which is fine. You can heal me up. Critical attacks. Actually, I can heal up with most of these guys, because they attack very slowly. Just to be careful not to get hit in the process. That's the only thing. They're also infinite, so I could actually just stay here and keep cutting them until they, until I get my HP back. If I really wanted to, or I could get dragged into the ground. That's that's a sol option too, apparently. You know what? Maybe maybe I should just use my Estus. That that seems like the better choice. Generally speaking, avoiding those things is ideal, just because, like I said, they are tricky. They try to pull you out of the ground. They come out of literally everywhere in this first section. And also, this is the end of this little bit. Whee! Down we go! Into this area. Not taking damage, thankfully, because ashes. However, there's more casters. In fact, I'm gonna fully heal up, because I can't remember how much damage they deal when they go... when they go angry mode and try to kill me with their own bodies. Like that! Or I guess full humanity mode. Because that's literally what's happening. They're essentially just becoming humanity and then coming at me. They're kind of jerks that way. I can't say I appreciate it. Titan Knight scale, and there's more of those, and they're going to all become humanity again. Like, a, ow. Said I don't know how much damage that actually will do. Wait. Oh, there's something else over there, too. I almost missed that. I can't let myself get scared here. I'm going to miss really good things if I do. Like, whatever's here. Murky hand scythe. Eh, whatever. Not bad, but... Again... I like the double weapon. Go with double weapons. Oh yeah, now the angels. Not the most fun enemy to fight, but thankfully dealing with them isn't especially difficult once you know how. Knowing how is a bit tricky, but once you know how, it's fine. Because if I go through here, like straight through here, through the side, past these guys, which I don't really feel like fighting right now, and I mean straight, straight through here. See that tree there? That's my ticket to killing an angel. And, conveniently, it's behind cover. 
So chop, 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 it's dead, and so is the angel. I'm really surprised I didn't notice that the first time. First time I went through here, I actually went all the way through to the end of the area without finding this tree. And that angel caused me no end of troubles. Now, I just don't care. I mean, it, it's dead. I've done it. I've dealt with it. It's gone. Good for me. And not so good for you, because now you're dead. Because nothing's threatening me. Granted, it wouldn't threaten me anyway, but... Ow! 30%. Got it. I can survive another. And again here. And if you're wondering, I'm not bothering killing the, the random ashen hollows because they aren't worth it. Like, the ones that cast stuff, they're sort of worth it, but the rest of them just don't even matter. Because, basically, they can't be killed. Like, they, they die, yes, but there's an endless supply of them. Mainly I'm here because there's a secret area through here, and I can't remember exactly where. Yeah. Get out of here. Where's that secret area? I know it's somewhere around here. No, it's further up. But yeah, I just need to... Yeah. I mean, clearly I need to cut my way through some of this, because there being pains. Maybe it's here. Ah! There we go. Okay. Yeah, there being pains in the butt. I'm actually a little concerned I have as little essence as I do, because I'm still... There's still a few sections I have to deal with. This area will take two passes, however. Just, it has to... Ah, no! Not again! Not again! Not if I can help it! Get away from me, you... Ah. Okay, I guess I can't help it. How do they deal that much damage to me? Oh, wait, I forgot to talk to you. Oh, your head's square on your shoulders, is it? I thought that clamoring tin can was the last. But here we go again. What is it you want from this old stone-amped hag? I've nothing for you, not a smithereen. I just like to stand here and take in the view. Well, that you think an old stone-amped hag would be brimming with goodies? I've <laughs> none of that, not a smithereen. Well, you say that. Actually, it's not much. All right, well, whatever. At the close of the Age of Fire. Okay, I know the stuff. Great kingdoms and anemic townships will be one and the same. The great tide of human enterprise. All for naught. That's why I'm so taken by this grand sight. This must be what it's like to be a god. Oh, if you just can't stop well, yourself. Well, I kind of can't. Hear this. Far below. There's a deep, dark hole carved out of a tree. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity even now. Mutterings of the very demon that Prince Lorien spoke of, I'm sure. Horrible sounds of an afflicted mm -hmm. thing, yet cursing men. At the close... Okay, cool. So I already got that. Keep... I mean, that's actually a thing in the description for... Oh, I didn't get the sword. Never mind. I'd have to go back to... Well, what's left of Lilith to check out the sword description. But yeah, apparently Lorian's Greatsword has some description about fighting the boss of the Dreadkeep area, which actually is kind of cool. And I didn't even realize that was a thing. Because I didn't realize that they had that connection there. But anyway, down we go again. Actually, that's fine. I wanted to get up here anyway, because I wanted to get to the angel. Because there's an item here. Anyway, this is a thing where you have to really should move fast to this area just because stuff constantly gets summoned in. And I'm pretty sure it's not the fault of the 
the casters. I'm pretty sure it just happens to happen because the area is like that. And yeah, these things are scary though. I don't like to deal with them. Ah! Oh hey, a spell. Ow. I think I don't, I don't know if I have the intelligence to use this. I'm actually kind of curious. All right, let's see. Oh, nice. Covetous Silver Serpent Ring plus three. And the Ring of Steel Protection plus three I just got. Good mix. I like it. So that's actually not a bad time, I think, to go try to tango with those two enemies that are further back, the knights. I mean, we've dealt with pairs of knights before. It's not like they're impossible. I mean, they're difficult, I will grant you, but they're not impossible. They're just a pain in the butt. All right. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. Other weapon. Ow. There we go. That's what I want. Because I know you're going to swing a second time. I know I can take advantage of that. Oh, except your buddy has a shield. Your buddy's annoying. Make your buddy go away. Ow. Ah, I didn't time it right. Ha, ah, there we go. Well, you're dead. Your buddy's doing a number on me, so actually they're they're fine right now. Ow. Hmm. Oh, I see. They've got some kind of banner effect going on. That's not good. Ah. I thought they'd shield up against me. Okay, can that banner effect please go away? How long does that last for? Sheesh. I could have died there. It's very common to die when you're dealing with someone who's... When you're dealing with any situation where the camera goes 180, I find it's that's the most likely time I die attempting a roll. Okay, there we go. Now I can get you. Ha! Can I? No, not completely. I should have had magic weapon back up, but I didn't. No, but that's fine. You're dead. You're dead. We're good. I got rid of you, and I got your friend, and I got the titanite chunk off your friend. I've got very little Estus left, but I got what I needed. Actually, I still think is going to involve being a little bit careful. Because up here, there's a few cool things. There's a guy, and that guy is part of a quest in this area. Hey, Patches. Oh, look at you. You've got your head screwed on correct. Fantastic. To meet a kindred spirit on this god's forsaken crag. Yep. Call me Lap. I can't remember my real name, so let's just go with that. I have Lapis a finished for patches. We're going to make a fabulous team. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Oh, I'm hollow. Yeah, he's from the original game. That's yes. the original, original patches. I try to play it off. From Dark Souls 1. But I haven't a clue about my past, who I was, or what I lived for. Not even my own blessed name. That's why I've come here, searching. Where the pygmies who found the dark soul at the Oops. dawn of fire reside. All I can say is, those little stones aren't doing much to help me remember anymore. <laughs> well, so if I completely forget who you are, don't be wroth with me. Come on, what else can I say? I'm a bloody hollow for heaven's sake. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not done yet. Well, so come. <laughs> cool. So yeah, the quest is to make him not hollow, and then he kicks it down a pit. Because he's Patches. And that's what Patches does. Like, it's just, you know, law of nature. I... have to deal with that. Oh! Okay. You summoned a- Ah! Ah! No! Oh, wait, that's- that's Ash. I'm good. Ow, that hurt me because I landed on the guy. Wow! Okay. That's new. Didn't realize that was a thing. All right, this is actually a bit of a tricky bit. Oh, I could just drop. I don't trust myself to actually fight through this without more Estus, so I'll just drop down here. I think that'll work. Where will I death plane? No, we're good. That's how the Ash system works. It's kind of nice, actually, because it means that I don't have to worry about getting killed when I drop a long, long drops like that. Anyway, that was pass one, so I'll just cut through to the item grabs of the other passes. Until I get to the fight that I was just skipping.
Oh, and this. Wee smack. Okay, there we go. Now we're... Now to this fight. This most slightly annoying of fights. Actually, it is more annoying than slightly. Especially when I screw that up. Ah. Ha! Yeah! Ow! That's... Well, okay. I didn't see that coming. No, Hidden Body Helps with the Knight doesn't help with the dregs. Still, helps with a lot with the Knight. Ha! Okay. So, dregs, or Dreg Sorcerer, whatever it's called, is down. D Ow. Yeah, ha! D Ow! Ugh. Damn it, those, this is why I hate this area. Those things just can't... Just, you, they do not stop spawning... So it's like you have to run, but I'm trying to fight a thing. Maybe I just skip the knights too. Ah, got past you. Let's get past these two. Hidden body should wear off right now, so let's reapply. Because, like I said, actually, I'm probably fine here. This is probably okay. But yeah, sneaky. Oh, they spotted me. Oh, one of them did. One of them spotted that I existed. Oh, wait, but that means I can probably avoid the angel. Because there's another angel here, and I'm not getting rid of it for a while. I'm not kidding. There's actually two angels that are coming up, and getting rid of them is going to take a long time. Because one of them, I basically have to get to the end of this area first. Oh, hey. I know who you are. Oh, good. <laughs> Great to see you still in one piece. Yep. Uh, I can see why they call this the Dreg Heap at the world's end. Mangled remnants from every age and every land. Like Darcel too. Actually, that the ringed city rests below it all. Ah, uh, <laughs> don't mind me. You needn't worry yourself with this nonsense. I just wanted to tell someone. And I'm sick of old Humpty. Wait, I'll make it up to you. Okay. By letting you in on a secret of sorts. Past here you'll find the remains of a giant earthen tower, half submerged in a poisonous swamp. Yep, earthen pig. Now, I didn't have any use for it, you see. If I get the chance, I, I could go fetch it for you. But if that's too long to wait, go nab it for yourself. I know who you are. A righteous uh, warrior. Right. Yes? Patches and Marie is nice patches. Duty to boot. Well, grab that treasure. That's as good a duty as any. Like, past here... If the fact I'll... that he's actually offering to get it for me is very unpatches of him. Telling me to go get it is perfectly in character with patches. Telling me if you don't get it, I'll get it for you and give it to you. It's like what? I mean, okay, it's also in character for patches to say stuff that sounds nice and then turns out he's lying. But if assuming they're telling the truth, that's I guess the idea. The tragedy of it is that hollow patches is way nicer than non-hollow patches. Also, oops, wrong thing. Or do I need a hidden body yet? I guess I don't really need a hidden body yet. Although, that being said, yeah! Yeah! All the healing if I actually needed healing. But these enemies are the best to heal from using Pontus' right eye. In the entire game. Best enemies to heal with that. Because they have very low HP, they move very slowly, and they are in massive groups. So it is the perfect combination. Of course, they only show up here and in the Road of Sacrifices, so for the most part, it doesn't come up. But when it does, it is extremely useful. Oh, crap. Maybe it won't see me. It won't see me! Awesome! Hidden body to the rescue. It's kind of funny. I started this, this game out using the Mercenary class, and I basically ended up with the Assassin class. Because the Assassin class starts with... I think a dagger, a staff, and spook. In case you're wondering, it's shooting at other characters or other enemies. It, it this and ah, this thing has no friends. It only has targets. So as long as I'm hidden, I'm not one of those targets, and I can actually just run around grabbing stuff. But yeah, like I said, there are in fact two of these. One of them is over there. The other one is going to be a bit further past. 
Ah, crap! It spotted me. It knows I'm roughly in that area. But it doesn't know anymore. Because Hidden Body is actually really good! I did not know this until very recently. Hidden Body is awesome. Actually, can I drop down there? The area over there is kind of the... Ow! Shoot, still tracked me. Ah, that's too risky. Alright, well anyway, that's that, so... We move on from here. See, the thing is, there's another angel past here. Like, there's this area here, and there'll be another angel that pops up. A very different angel. Except for the fact that it does the exact same thing, but it's not the same angel. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that's fine. I'll probably shoot one of these other things. Oh, hey! Healing! Oh, I don't need healing. I was to say, oh, yeah, I get healed, but then I don't need it because I'm not in an area that uses it. So, as far as this goes, this, I believe, is actually Ring of the Evil Eye. Oops. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Wrong thing. Drink. Hidden body. So, yeah, I believe up here is Ring of the Evil Eye. It might be a different ring. There's Ring of the Evil Eye plus three somewhere around here. They're pretty much all in the drag heap. Ring of Favor plus three. Right, 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 right. I can find Ring of the Evil Eye plus three, which I don't remember where it is. Somewhere around here. If I can find that, that would be wonderful. All right, well, first step at this point is to run, kill off the angel, and then double back and take all the rest of this stuff. Yeah! Oh, the angel's not even looking at me. That's good. I guess it lost interest. Figured I wasn't here. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, it's pointing the entire other way. Wow. Hidden body's even better than I thought it would be. Like, I expected the angel wouldn't really look too hard, but I didn't expect that it would, you know... Stop seeing me altogether, except now. <laughs> Not gonna let that happen. If I can help it. Ah, that's the other attack. It curses. It curses an area, and then everything there gets cursed. Which is, of course, instant death. Now over here... Can it still shoot me? I think I'm under... I think I have cover. Yeah, I've definitely got cover. And this is the tree that is relevant to that angel... So now, that's two out of three down. Like like I said, the one over there you can still see. But killing that one opens up the swamp area. So I can now just drop back there and, you know, deal with everything. And, Twinkle the Titanite, nice. And also, it means that there's a later area that you have to go across a few branches and angels are shooting at you. That area basically becomes doable. Otherwise, it's a luck-based mission. Like, you might be able to make it, because it's not gonna kill you completely. Like, you might barely survive. Oh, I have no damage. I'm good. It's my magic that's in an iffy situation right now. And also, I'm getting poisoned. Actually, to that end, where's my poison? Purple Moss Clump. I don't care that much. Like, poison's poison. Whatever, I can just damage to get HP back. But I would like to, if possible, not worry about that. Just kill things. At any rate, this whole area is just... Yeah, it's just items. To the head. Alright, well this... Alright, there's a Desert Power Master after this section too, which... I think after this little bit here, that's all the items in Earth and Peak. Our old Gerud Greatsword, that's what they were using. I don't really care. I'm using Greatswords. Yeah, so this actually is almost done. Dread Keep is a tiny area, if you know what, what you're doing. I mean, that's been that's just been shown true in a lot of this game. That's kind of been the theme of this run, honestly. I've actually... I expected, when I started this run... It would take me about 35-ish, well, 30-ish, 30 35 episodes for me to get this far. And it's, this is episode 25, so you can see how well that went. And I also predicted that it would take me... Now we're good here. I also predicted that it would take me about, what was it, 20... What was I thinking? It was another count... Ow, I had in mind. That was... Oh, yeah, the DLC I expected it would take me like 10 episodes to get through. Considering the pace I've been going through, I'm almost expecting it to take me more like six. But we'll see. 
Okay, so first off. And then second off. You're gonna come at me and not make any real pro- Ow! Your friend! Your friend is annoying! Ow, more fire? I should probably increase my fire defense. My magic defense is awesome right now. My fire defense leaves something to be desired. Especially since they do weird fire whip things. But that's fine. I oh, wait. It had this problem last time. I remember now. I actually had a problem because they get out of combos easy. Oh, but they... Oh, I, that's not a backstab. Huh. Oh, and of course you have your... Health. I actually... Oh, wait. I don't have to worry about walls. Aha! I needn't worry about you. Ha! Because I'm not going to smack into walls because daggers are tiny weapons. And now that will do you no... Ow! That did you some good. Jerk! All right, fine. Oh, come on. Give me the backstab. The only thing is I don't think I can parry them. I'm not sure if I can parry that magic weapon they're using, but... As far as I know, I can't. Ah! Thought I'd have them. Alright, I gotta optimize for fire defense, apparently. Because that was just ridiculous. That was embarrassing. I could have had that easily. Back in the stab. In the back. I mean, that one for free at least. I just want to have the free movement on this, because that means I can get close and they won't know where I am. Although spook does give me, or lack of spook does give me away. Ow! Shoot! That was my main problem, actually, come to think of it. I probably shouldn't do what I just did, because that means that I have to deal with this as a more complicated matter of dealing with dodging fireballs. I mean, sorry, do dodging thralls, not dodging fireballs. Dodging fireballs is easy and now. Fuh. Okay, hidden body, spook, reapply magic weapon. How the hell did you know where I am? Okay, seriously, how does how do they have a beat on me? Oh, they don't. They don't have a beat on me. Oh, of course, hidden body had to expire, so yeah. Oh, darn it. Would you stop moving? You know how annoying that is? There! There! <sighs> Get in my way so I can start hitting you! Or just don't hit me! Or something! I don't know! I don't know why I can't seem to get attacks in! This is annoying! I have fast weapons! Let me hit you! Ugh. And of course they have Estus and I have barely any left. Thanks, you jerk. I need you dead. Ugh. Come on, get comboed. Why are you being such a pain? Ugh. You don't know where I am! Okay, thank you. I actually stab you in the back now. Or in theory. Yes! Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, come on. Must you do that? Must... How did they get out of my... How is that possible? I... I thought this was a perfect combo weapon. Like, I've... I hate fighting this enemy. They get out of my... Quit avoiding me. Quit it! You're getting very on my nerves! I need you to stop hitting me, not know where I am, and then get hit by me so I can backstab you! Because I can't seem to get close to you- Okay, fine! F why am I using this weapon anyway? Use the better weapon! Use the weapon with the actual range! Alright, because it's too slow! Because everything is too fast for- Ugh! Thank you! Would you please die? You're getting... Ugh. Your continued existence is an insult to everyone except you! There we go! 
Okay. <sighs> Man, I really wish they'd let me get closer to them because now I have no Estus. I, I literally can't survive the next section, actually. I have to go back. Great. Oh, well. I mean, I have to find Blessing. I guess I can use that. just kind of don't want to go back. It's just that there's an... Oh, wait, no, what am I thinking? I have Hidden Body. I'm good. Never mind. Uh, the problem is that there's an... There's an enemy up ahead. There's another one of those laser... Laser angels. But that's fine. Because if I go through here, then I can... Can I go along the side? Can't remember. Ah, crap. That was perfectly timed, but... Perfect timing isn't good enough, because that means they still had the shot at me. But yes, yeah, so the idea is that I can go through here, get down here, and then we're good. Okay. Then I can get to the bonfire. <sighs> Boy, that was that was harrowing. I forgot what a pain in the butt that one enemy was. But that's fine, because now I can kill an angel. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's not where I wanted to land, because that's not Ash. That hurts me. That nearly killed me. Got another ember, at least made up for the one I lost. And this is the last angel tree. Anyway, that's also why I happen to have the other sword. Because, yeah, I don't use it very often, but sometimes enemies just don't stay close enough. I can't hit with the daggers, and I need that extra range. That was one of those times. Ah, oh, yeah, and this doesn't have anything of interest. I think I might be able to drop down on here if I'm using spook. Like, from up there, maybe, as a shortcut. I mean, it's very risky, but I imagine it's possible, theoretically. However, I saw no reason to try it, since, I mean, it wasn't too hard to get through the area. I got one try. But knowing where the trees are massively simplifies this whole section. Because now there's no angels. And then it's just a matter of getting back up here, and then going back up here, and there's a few more items to grab. Once I grab those items, then it's boss fight time, and yeah. I have a boss fight this episode. Already. <laughs> right, so here's the boss fight that was discussed at the beginning of the episode with that old woman who said, Hey, there's a demon. Fought, it killed the thing that you killed last, or you were killed by the enemy, or the boss, I should say, that you killed last. So, have fun. It's actually two enemies, because there's Demon in Pain and Demon from below. The Demon in Pain, which I believe is this one, needs to die first. Oh, right, that's Poison. Boom. Actually, that's Toxin. Hang on. Okay, this is Demon from below. Do not... Okay, forget it. You're not relevant. The Demon in Pain is relevant. That's the one I want to kill. Ha! Ow! Okay. Ow! Well, I can't see both of them, which is a bit of a pain. Ow, I hit the wrong buttons. If I would hit the right buttons, it would be a lot easier. I'm just not hitting buttons. Uh, I'm hitting R1 and not R2. R2 is my dodge. Or, well, the quick step. R1 is a really risky attack that doesn't work. Or at least gets me killed if I'm not careful. Try it again. I don't want to set some ranged attacks. I think these enemies are fairly weak against magic. I'm not sure. Like, I don't really remember how to do this when there's the two of them, and ah! I just want the demon from below dead second, since I fought demon in pain dead second first, and the prince you fight varies based on which demon you kill last. And so I'm trying to get rid of the one before the other, and now I'm kind of screwed. Like, there's no way for me to get out of this. Well, there's some way. I guess I could do that, but... Yeah, there's no way. I didn't put it on my quick bar. So you know what? Forget it. No, what? Hey, let me get out of here! Okay. I got poison bits. Ah! I don't know how to dodge all this. Like I said, this is why I fought the demon from below first, and then demon in pain died last. First time, because it's way easier to do it that way. At the start, at least. Especially using short-range weapons. 
and I have very few ranged options. Ah! Okay. Ah. Crap. Not a magic weapon. What? I thought you were far enough away. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, can I crystal magic weapon? Yes, I can. Yeah. Ha! Oh, wait, there's poison! Yeah! Shoot. Oh, this is tricky. They would just not stay so close to each other. It wouldn't be so... Oh, I... Great, but I'm magic. That's just perfect. Because I totally have time to fill up on magic while all this is happening. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. You're... You're out of fire. Yeah. Best time for me to do stuff. Like magic weapon. Okay. Now, I'm guessing Demon from Below is going to start going up in flames pretty soon? Maybe? Yes, they are, but it's taken them a while. Okay, that gives me time. Ow! Uh, darn it! No! Uh. What? What? Oh, what the... I don't... I was stuck! I don't even believe that. Okay, let's try this now. Only, what, six tries so far? Ah! Okay. Not the best start. Uh, are you gonna go out? Okay! Both on fire, that's pretty typical. Demon in pain is, of course, in the back. There wasn't a wall here. Oh, there wasn't a wall there anymore. Are you gonna... Okay. Demon from below is powered down. If I can get Demon in pain now, it'll be perfect. What? Uh, ah. Get back here. Ha! Ah. Uh, or, or not. Or really not. Okay. Hey, both powered down. Even better. Just avoid the toxin. It should be fine. Oh, darn it. Why can't you... Critical... Thank you. Okay. <sighs> this should be pretty easy now. I say that... Okay. Well. Oh. Well, we're in something of a position, at least. Get down. Just. Are you gonna be critical or not? Get over here. Okay, critical, critical, critical! What? You're supposed to be dead! Thank you. 
Now I'm supposed to stop being dead quickly, but not too quickly. I should stay far away, because I remember this thing explodes, and it's annoying. Okay, there we go. Oh, what? It still does that? I thought it was the lasers one. This is Laser Demon Prince. Why is this? Oh, I see. It is a ugh, common attack. Okay, fair enough. And I, I also went for magic. I mean, I'm in a position where I can just hit it, but... What the? the shit. Okay. Oh! Oh, it shoots. Okay, it shoots left to right. Got it. Seriously? Okay. Heal time. Ah! That's why I like Quick Step. This Quick Step gives me those tools. Okay, well that's fine. Aha! Huh? Maybe I'll get another critical? What? What the? Ah! Okay, the hitboxes are a little bit unclear, I'll grant. Oh crap, he's gonna laser. I'm gonna go to the right. And then he goes slow. And he'll fire another one soon after. Or he'll get critical. That that works too. Actually, that's loads of HP! Hey! I may not need to ember up. We'll see. I I may need to ember up. Oh yes! Quick step to the rescue! Huzzah for Quick Step! That's why I went for the Quick Step build and why, despite the lack of range on the daggers, I keep using them. Cuz Quick Step! Oh man! Like, okay, granted, there was a lot of predictability there, so better timed rolls, or well timed rolls, would also work. I just don't trust my roll timing as much as my Quick Step timing. Cuz Quick Step is positive edge, and as I've described in another video that I don't really care to even link, positive edge rolling is more what I'd expect, but negative edge rolling... Negative edge rolling basically adds about three frames of delay, which can be the difference between life and death. Quick step just happens on the frame you press it, which is awesome. So yeah, that was the Dreg Heap in one episode. So... I will actually just pop over to the Ring City, because there's not much more here other than what you've seen. I don't recall if there's a hidden area here. I kind of doubt it, but... Nope. So yeah, just down here. This is it. The drag keep has been completed. And now we basically have what we had in episode two. Which is a banner being raised to get me to another area. Thanks to gargoyles. Yeah, that's that's kind of a Dark Souls tradition. At least in three. I guess it really is only in three, come to think of it. Because in one, the Anne Orlando thing is just you look at this ring that's shown up, and then all of a sudden gargoyles come. And then you have to deal with them. Which is weird, because in one you have to kill them. In three, they just, they're basically just a fairy service. I guess this air travel is kind of cheap in Lothric. A little risky, though. Turbulence can cause some issues, and obviously it's not pressurized. But it gets to your destination sooner or later. And there is the Ring City.
It's nice. I'm not sure how much of it is an illusion. Well, it'll all become clearer in an episode or two, what I mean. But for now... The Ring City! We've arrived at the name place, namesake place of the DLC. And with that, I will call this an episode. Since this episode is basically just... Pretty much, well, the drag keep. Well, so you have something to say. Fuck. They brought thee here, did they not? Dost thou the gods serve, or merely that role affect? I merely affect it. Just pretending. Yes. Yes, of course. How wouldst one such as thee do service to the gods? I have intimate knowledge of thy kind. I know thy want. The Dark Soul, is it not? Sure. Why else wouldst one deign to visit this dung heap? It was here. Give rest to thy falsity. I would be an ally to thee. <laughs> if it is the Dark Soul thou desirest, then seek. There wilt thou the sleeping princess waken. Her slumber is a deceit, a lid. Covering an overgrown privy, a prop to keep thee from the dark soul of thine desire. I kind of wish I had the soul of the giant tree right now. Well, let's see how well hidden body works against humans. Pretty well. I, for more for the fact that I can't. Oh, I see. He knows I'm here somewhere. He says no. Oh, he knows well enough where. How does? Anyway, other than the PvP system that's nowhere near as developed as it needs to be. Thanks for watching, and I hope you until the next one you enjoy things.